And five days away from the primary, and all week long we've been looking at where candidates stand on the issues that matter most to you. Tonight, our Capitol Bureau Chief Courtney Ryan breaks down where major Republican candidates for governor stand on school funding. The battle with the Kansas Supreme Court over properly paying for schools is something three of the four major Republican gubernatorial candidates want to put an end to. We will advocate for a constitutional amendment in, in our state constitution that better defines the word suitability and who is responsible for determining that. Insurance Commissioner Ken Selzer, along with Governor Jeff Collier and Secretary of State Chris Kobach, support passing a constitutional amendment to take away the power from the court. If the people want to spend more, then their representatives will vote to spend more. If the people want to spend the same amount, then their representatives will vote that way. We don't have control right now. The Kansas Supreme Court has seized control and they're not elected. In June, the High Court ruled the new school finance law signed by Governor Jeff Collier was insufficient because it didn't take into account inflation. The law phases in more than $525 million to schools over the next five years. Inflation rate really in Kansas right now is running about one and a half to two percent. And so we're talking about a small stair step. Uh, adjustment. Former state senator Jim Barnett offers a different point of view, saying the state needs to be investing in schools. Just not K-12. Higher ed has to be funded uh, as well. The community colleges and technical colleges, they're the workhorses for workforce creation. The court gave lawmakers another year to find the money to pay for the inflation factor. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Courtney Ryan. Meanwhile, Democrat Senator Laura Kelly and former Ag Secretary Josh Swati say since the 2012 tax cuts were rescinded, the state is bringing in more money. They say that could be used to pay for the inflation factor. And if the state continues to bring in more money, then the cycle of litigation could end. I think the $525 million was a, a very good effort to get money back to K through 12. And I think that around 100 million this year and then another 100 million the next year will probably satisfy the courts. If we continue over the next years uh, to account for inflation and uh, adjust our budget accordingly, I think we can stay out of court. And former Wichita Mayor Carl Brewer says his long-term plan includes legalizing recreational and medicinal marijuana with the revenue paying for schools. We've got to create an environment that has where we have the best education because if we have the best education, we certainly would have a skilled workforce. And remember, KSNT News is your local election headquarters. Polls on Election Day are open from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. Many places doing early voting now, so be sure to stop by. You can count on us for comprehensive coverage on Election Day and the lead up. We'll have up-to-the-minute results in all of those key races. I'll do it 10.